In this video, I'll show you how to fix the DaVinci unable to initialize GPU error message. So there's actually a couple different solutions to fix this. The first method is by heading over to your start menu and just searching for settings, and then you need to click on the settings window. From the left hand side, select system, click on display, then scroll down to the bottom and press graphics. And then from these list of applications, we need to add DaVinci Resolve to this list. So what we're gonna do is scroll to the top and click on the browse button, and then you need to locate where you've saved the DaVinci application. So on my computer, it's located in the C drive, in the program files folder, double click on Blackmagic Design, double click on DaVinci Resolve, and then right down at the bottom of this list, you'll see resolve.exe, double click on this. And as you can see, that will add DaVinci to this list here, click on options, and then make sure high performance is selected and press save. Now, once you've done that, you can load up DaVinci and test to see whether that's fixed your issue. If it's still not working, head back over to the start menu you and this time search for device manager and then click on the device manager window. From this list come down to display adapters and expand this. Locate your graphics card from the list and right click on it and select update driver and then just press search automatically for drivers. Now if you get this message saying the best drivers are already installed for your device then what you can try doing is installing the drivers manually. So for example if you have an Nvidia graphics card like myself then what you can do is install the free Nvidia app online and open this up click on drivers from the left hand side and then we can just use this check for updates button over here and then it will check to see if there's any drivers for us to download so you can see here it's actually found this driver which the windows tool didn't find so i can just press download to install this latest driver now once again you can open up davinci and check to see if that solved your issue if it's still not working and this issue happened after updating davinci resolve to a new version then what you can do to actually fix this is head over to your start menu and just search for settings click Click on apps from the left hand side and then select install apps. Using the search box, type in DaVinci and then go ahead and uninstall this from your computer. Now, once it's been uninstalled, we're going to head over to the official DaVinci website, scroll right down to the bottom of this page and click support center. Then in the product selection, click on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion Software. And then in this list here, you'll see all of the older versions of DaVinci Resolve. So if the application was working before updating the software, then you can try just downloading an older version of DaVinci Resolve and that should solve the issue for you. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.